right guys, here's our chicken. It is nice and clean. I did wash it with some fresh lime, also with some salt and vinegar. Um, rinse it off with some hot water so it's nice and clean. So now what I'm going to do is um, squeeze some fresh lime juice back in here. And if you don't know how to clean your chicken, I do have a video up so you can always go back and look at it. And then to this, I'm going to add my chicken base. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add some black pepper. Okay. And then we have our famous apis. I'm going to give it a mix. And then I'm going to add some in like that. And then I will add some adobo. And everything I'm adding has no MSG. See? No MSG. So we're going to just add a little bit. Not a lot. And also I will add just some seasoning salt. No MSG as well. Okay. And then I will add some pep uh, paprika because I want to add just a little bit of color to our chicken, although I'm going to give it color. And then we're going to go ahead and give this a mix. I mean, you can add whatever seasoning you want. My ear piece is very, very flavorful. Um, I put a lot of different flavors in it. So maybe one day, I do have an eight piece video up, but it's just a simple version. Maybe one day I'll do one um, where I'll add a lot of different seasoning in it. So that way, you know, my food is nice and tasty. All right, look at our chicken. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So then, you know, the scotch bonnet, you have to add that. Then I will add some cloves. Not much cloves. Um, and then some parsley. And your thyme, of course. Okay, so I'm going to let this marinate. And you don't have to let it marinate. But I'll let it marinate um, for about, I would say, 10, 15 minutes. And if you notice, I'm not adding that much kalalu because my children do not like kalalu at all. So what you do, I have it on another video, but here it is. I cut the tip off exposing just a little bit guys because I do not want this slimy at all if you want it slimy like I said before go ahead and cut it and then do a slit right here just a little slit okay so you can allow all of that chicken sauce to go in there so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and then I'll get my chicken on the stove and I'll come back all right, guys, I just wanted to show you that I did put my chicken in the pot. The stove is on high. And the bowl that I used to season it in, I just add just a little bit of water. And now I'm going to drop, well, not drop, but pour this into our bowl like this. And I'm going to let it come to a boil. And I'm going to let it boil for maybe about five minutes. And then I'm going to come back and show you what I do next. Because you do know that um, these, we call it these soft chickens, <laughs> um, they don't take long to cook at all. So we don't want to overcook it before I give it color. show you that our chicken, I've been letting it cook on high for about five minutes now. They're not cooked all the way through. So what I'm going to do is, because if you wait till they're soft to try to give them color, it's going to break on you. So what I like to do is take them out while they're still kind of firm. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And now what I will do to our pot is I will add some oil. It doesn't matter if we still have some liquid. That's good. And then to our oil, I will add some tomato paste. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and cook our tomato paste out about a, a minute or so. Uh-oh. Guys, let me grab my wooden spoon. Sorry about that. Uh, 
the other one's in the dishwasher. Didn't want, so this one's gonna have to work. Okay. So what you're gonna do is just cook out your tomato paste, making sure all of the um, the tomato is no longer raw. Okay. And I, okay, so we're gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds more, and then I'm gonna. All right, guys. You, if you notice, it's starting to get just a little color. It's okay to add some water, just a little water, like that. And now I'm gonna add my chicken back in. I mean, there's multiple ways of doing this. You could either, you know, fry your chicken um, before you even cook it, or you could wait till after you boil it and then put it in the oven and give it color. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. The only thing that's wrong is if your dish is done and it don't taste good, then it's wrong. But as long as it tastes good, then you should be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let it get some color, and then I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, guys, I just want to show you how our chicken is looking. It's beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do at this point is add some um, water. Okay. Don't want to add too much water. Our chicken is beautiful, guys. Okay? So what I will do is add my scotch bonnet back. And when I use my scotch bonnet, I never cut any holes in it. I just like the flavor of the scotch bonnet. I was fortunate to find some uh, about a week ago. So to our liquid, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my um, okra. I'm just making sure I didn't cut too deep because I don't want it to be slimy. I just want this to be tasty. And if you have, if you want, you can add um, your watercress. Um, I do not like watercress in my chicken sauce, but I did put it in my beef um, version of this. So if you want, you can go ahead and add it. But what I'm gonna do is just put on a lid and I'm gonna let it cook until nice and tender. That should take maybe another 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and show you how I serve it. I want to look at our chicken. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove off. Okay, I hope you can see it. Our chicken is looking delicious. So what I will do now is go ahead and add my bell peppers and my onions and I'm going to cover it back up for because I'm just going to cover it back up because like I said I turn it off so I'm just going to let the rest of this um, steam cook our vegetables because my husband don't like his too um, soft he likes a little crunch to it but then I'll come back and show you how I serve it guys here is the final product this is our stew chicken with a kalalu sauce. It is absolutely divine. Do you guys see the color on this chicken? Fabulous. I will be serving it with some white rice and some uh, puree beans. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.